Hi everyone. So this week we will be doing exercise two. This is a really interesting lab where we will cover a lot of material. We will implement grid search, gradient descent, and stochastic gradient descent, which are some of the most used algorithms while training machine learning models. You will get the opportunity to code and debug them, and finally see them in action, learning the parameters of your model. And finally, you will explore the effect of outliers while using different cost functions. So, as always, the first step is to pull the required materials from GitHub. This week's materials are in the folder labs slash exercise two. For demonstration, I will be using the setup on Noto EPFL. You are free to use your own setup. You will be mostly working on this exercise two dot ipynb notebook. As you can see, this already contains a lot of template code to help you and you will be implementing, you'll be filling in some of the functions. There are also some additional helper files, such as helpers.py and plots.py, which contain some useful functions to help you load the data and plot it. Throughout the exercise, you'll be working on this linear regression problem, where you're trying to predict the weight yn from the height x and one, so this model yn equals w0 plus w1 x and 1. And here w0 and w1 are the model parameters. You will be using the data set height weight genders.csv to learn your parameters. This is how the data looks like. You see that for each person you have the gender, which won't be used in this exercise, and the height and the weight. The first exercise is to implement this mean square error loss function. For linear regression, which I've already seen in class. Before that, you have to load the data and transform it into this format, which is already taken care of by the template code here. Then there are some questions to help you understand this format better. And then you can write down the expression for MSC in terms of the error vector E, and which I've already seen in class, and you can use it to fill in this function compute loss here. And it's also a good idea once you do this to try to hand calculate some of the, the loss values for some handpicked values of y, t, x, and w and compare it to what your function gives. So once you have checked that, you can go to the next exercise, which is to implement grid search. So this you can do by just filling in the function here. This uh, takes two lists, one for each parameter, containing the list of values that you want to try for that parameter. And it returns a matrix losses, which gives the loss value for each combination of the parameters. Once you fill in this function, then the rest of the code will try to find, will find the best parameters and it will also plot this uh, contour plot like you see here, giving the loss value for the different combinations of the parameters and also the feature regression lines for the best parameter. You then have certain questions like, does it look like a good estimate? How you can improve it? What about the computation cost, etc.? The following exercise is about solving the same problem using gradient descent. We already saw these expressions for the gradient in class. And now you should use them to fill in this function compute gradient here. And after that, you can test it again using some handpicked values. And then you can answer these questions regarding what information the norm of the gradient gives us. This gives you an intuition about how gradient descent works. Then you can fill in this function gradient descent, which starts from an initial value of w and runs for max iterators number of iterations. And at each iteration, it uses the compute gradient function and the learning rate gamma to update w. And it keeps track of the values of w and loss at each iteration and also prints them. The rest of the code then also prints a contour plot like the one you saw for grid search. Here you also have a slider, which you can move to see how the parameter values move from the initial values to the final optimal value, and you will see how the regression line changes. 
then you have some questions here regarding the convergence of this procedure and you will also see what happens when you try different values of the step size gamma and the initial w then you will implement stochastic gradient descent by filling in these two functions here you have a new parameter called batch size and you will use that with the function batch iter here in helpers uh, this would be used to generate the mini batches for your stochastic gradient descent at each iteration now this function is an example of a generator in python you can look it up to learn more how it works and now for the next exercise you will see the impact of outliers on the msc cost function so you can modify the parameters that you pass to load data function here to subsample the data and add outliers to it and then you can fit a regression line using msc and compare to compare what you obtain after adding outliers and before then in the final exercise we will explore the mean absolute error cost function which is more robust to outliers first you will modify the compute loss function here to return the mean absolute error instead of the mean squared error then as the mae is non differentiable at many points you would need to use a subgradient to optimize it instead of the gradient and we can compute the subgradient using chain rule so we first compute the subgradient of the outer function which is the absolute value function here and then multiply it with the gradient of the inner function which is the error so once you compute it you can then fill in the function compute sub you can write the new function compute subgradient and use it to implement both subgradient descent and uh, stochastic subgradient descent and you can compare the results to what you obtain for msc finally once you're done with the implementations you can transfer them to separate python files so that you can easily use them for the subsequent labs and project one and that was all so feel free to ask us in case of any questions through discord or on campus thank you and have fun